Legends later on here. I'm going to go through some Heartbreaker gameplay uh, now. So just run through my Heartbreaker. Almost got her at 10, uh, 8 of 8 War God. Um, and her crit is full crit. So she has got full crit, you know, missing that last 5 of 5 crit. But basically that gives me 500. So as it says... In the uh, in the trait section um, here, you've got 500 crit. So if we go to her basic stats, uh, she actually has, if you guys didn't know this, 250 crit already built in. So if you divide that by 10, that's how you work out the percentage. So she comes with 25% crit rate at the moment. She's got 75% crit rate. But what you might not realize is that once she is put into Acts of Strife increases the crit rate by 20%. So you add 20% onto 750 and you get 900, which divided by 10, 90%. So she's essentially critting for 90% of the time. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it does apply to the procs. I'm pretty sure it does. So, you know, her procs are coming out oh, at so quick, 0.3 seconds you know, every, every time, so they should be critting for massive amounts of damage, um, and then it auto attacks as well, so we'll just go through, um, I've got 5 of 5 Vite on her crest set, uh, so we're going to be able to be able to see, you know, her in action straight away off in some, in some battles, so we'll just start with Lost Realm, uh, we'll go through a couple there, um, and then we'll see what happens, uh, we've got a, we've got someone one of those Devo teams straight away, so I'm not sure how well she's going to go. Uh, we can definitely give it a go, but we, you know, we can see she'll probably die. They one on one. They're not very, they're not very easy to get rid of. So she's immune to stun. She looks like she's actually doing an okay job, but she probably will die in the end. Those um, those little pumpkins are are destroying her. Oh, okay. So she's just. She's just taken down a Devo team by herself. That is ridiculous. I think some of the other Devo teams would not work out so well, like the one with the Demo in it, um, or anything that debuffs her. Yeah, but wow, uh, that was that was surprising. So we'll go through some easier ones. She should just melt most of these people um, as as she's doing, but some pretty inc pretty crazy power. Like you can see all those crits going off. You know, you've got. 100k is just going every couple of seconds. Um, it's kind of hard on these smaller targets because they die so quick. You know, you've got 100... And, looks like she's pretty much critting most of the time for about that 130-ish mark. So we'll just go through and we'll do a couple of more. We won't stay on here too long. We might take her to some uh, some expedition and just watch, see what she does solo. Maybe add an a Cupid to her. So yeah, pretty, pretty regular... One one forty to one sixty by the look of it. it must be her that must be her proc. And then her auto attack looks like it's doing uh what is that about a ninety? Hundred just below a hundred, hundred ish on proc, so or eighty, eighty came up there and then so they're just everywhere. Like I mean, because she's healing from her proc, it's incredible. Um, you know, having that five vite on her is doing some damage in LBF. Uh, in Lost Battlefield, so she um, she is hitting like a truck at the moment. I've got a part of my scatter team. Um, I did try them on, on my tank team, but it just it just wasn't working out. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna put Mech Tessa in my tank team and leave her uh, with Five Vite in the scatter team. So, but yeah, she is just a weapon on this full crit, critting 90% of the time. Like all that yellow damage, there's barely any red damage going on. So she has got some some serious power. Let's uh let's just do an expedition. I think we're starting off. So what have we got? We've got a minnow team going on. So we'll just use uh we'll just use some damage buff. We might put a PD in there and just use HP as well. So just to see what she can actually do really quickly. I should have put a five vite on PD, but uh let's just put her put her on the corner there. She'll fly over and Mike and Cupid, so get her some serious damage going on there. I mean, look at that. That is, oh, she died. She got wrecked. So kind of ruins this, <laughs> the expedition. She died on that Mike proc. 
So that's unfortunate. But that's all right. We'll just go and do some um, some normal raids and just see what kind of damage she can do to the base straight away. Uh, all right. So same sort of base. We'll just we'll just put her up to the top, and then Mike, and then Cupid. And that's pretty much enough damage going on there. Like. Oh, you know, just melting heroes. Look at that. All that proc is going off. You know, it's basically like a machine gun version of Minnow. So, you know, with that crit rate, it is out of control. So we'll just try and we'll try and find a harder base, something um something with a something with a bit higher of heroes. A couple of Devo heroes. So alright, here's something. Um we'll fly her over the wall. And then, is that a nub? Probably put a knot on the nub side. So, we'll just put everyone over here. Mike, Cupid up there somewhere. Let's see what she does. Ah, uh, GS in that base. So that doesn't, yeah, that wasn't going to work out very well in the GS base. That is for sure. But, as you can see, just pretty nuts on the, uh, on the power. I'll try and clip in some of this LBF I did today and see what, uh, you can kind of see what she she can do, but yeah, she doesn't need to be attacking on her proc, so she just she'll start to um she'll start to just attack anyway. So not tanky enough with that eight war god to just walk into the middle. Um, you know, maybe I'll next time I'll lower the damage of the heroes with Anubis, but you know. To, player on player, or, you know, hero on hero, she is whipping out some damage, so really cool stuff with that on that full crit rate, um, lots of fun, and, yeah, 90% of the time, so I can't wait to get her to 10, that's going to be, just going to be more damage, nothing, nothing crazy going on there, I'm not sure about if everyone else crits for 2.5 damage, or if Heartbreak has just got, like, this special crit rate going on, like, you know, normally when you think of a critical strike, it's about 1.5 damage, so maybe she's just, just getting getting some extra stuff in there, but once she's uh, once she's 10 of 10, you know, the next thing is to get her to 100 inscription, and she should be a monster. Anyway, guys, I'll try and add uh, the uh, clip for LBF in the middle or at the start or at the end, one of the two, and uh, hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Cheers.